that's just a, uh, a little sample of five-year-old asparagus roots. So we hope to replace some of these in this bathtub. And in the bottom here, I've sealed it off. So the water will be a couple of inches, 50 mil deep. I'll, we'll drill some holes in just for drainage. But the roots on the asparagus are very aggressive. If you just point it down there, you can see. So they would go down, if they could, they'd go down a metre, maybe even two metres. Um, so we're going to refurbish the asparagus bed with the hope, with the hope that we'll get new spears come springtime. So uh, we'll just pop a, a hole in here. That's just to uh, allow the drainage. I'll drill this in a few different spots. We've had a very warm summer here, dry summer here. This is our unicorn apple. I don't know if you remember, but we pruned, or oh, I pruned some of these uh, four weeks ago, five mm. weeks ago maximum, and that's the growth already on these. That was a summer prune. So we hope to get fruit off these perhaps next year. It's another example of new growth. And you repotted that one. Yeah, so that's the vase shape that we wanted from the, uh, and here's another one, a little bit slower. Doesn't get quite as much sunlight here, but that's another example of the new growth from the prune. So we'll prune them again, but it'll be in winter time. And these are some of our blueberries. I um, pruned them back too, and uh, gave that one a good haircut. That's our oldest one. And it's got all new growth on it. And this one, I don't know if it'll show up with all the sun, but this one's even starting to flower again already. And this is the progress in the other new bathtubs. These are the garlic coming up already, which is nice. And the onions may be just starting to show. And these ones are carrots that are sp carrot seeds springing up in there too. This is the result of all the little birds, the silver eyes, the honey eaters, sucking out the, the middle of these little tomatoes. And this is a little pineapple that's growing. I was hoping to show you the little purple flowers it had on it, but they've, they've dropped off. But it's still growing nicely. And these two capsicum plants, that one there, and this one here, we had to relocate and we didn't think, weren't sure if it would survive, but this one survived and still fruiting. We did cut it back and move it, and that one too. Some nice capsicums in there. This one is a couple of years old and it's still producing <laughs> so we had a rogue plum or apricot seed develop into a plant so i've let it grow and i've put it in a couple of different pots 
but we've got a couple of chucky we've got a couple of um cherry trees and this little branch here was almost knocked off so i decided i know it's early but i've decided to graft it on so uh this is a, a cherry uh branch onto a rogue plum or peach so or apricot or apricot but we hope that it'll take off a bit like this chook ready to take off so this had in it before beans didn't it yeah. and they've been taken out it's been refurbished and strengthened and now there are beetroot seeds in it and it's up on bricks as is almost everything else because the tree roots might still get in so we're protecting it all the tree about three years ago i chopped it down because it was dying believe it or not and then these branches sprung up but because we're living on an island we have uh, ringtail possums they're supposed to be rare but they're very very hungry so as you look up the tree They've eaten at least a metre of the top green shrubs and branches. Uh, the poor animals are starving when they've got to uh, cause that amount of devastation. And this is the other thing the possum likes to eat, our lily pilly tree. Comes along here at night and munches on all the leaves. So, this is one of the little ones does the damage. Little ringtail possum curled up having a nap. So that's a typical possum nest in our zone, our area. So there'll be a possum in, in the middle of that and it's only two metres away from the possum. Mm -hmm.